him in the house. Yo, what's good, Crazy Nation? It's your boy S Crazy. You know what it is? I'm back again with another reaction. This is to Xavi. Uh, this is La Victima and La Diabla. Let's get it. Let's go. By the way, shout out to all the Latinos that have been showing love to me. I appreciate y'all so much. But yeah, let's get it. <laughs> Aguanta, güey, me están marcando, güey. ¡No! ¡Déjame, déjame contar! ¡Déjame contar! ¡Déjame contar! ¡Déjame I was not expecting that from this kid. Sorry, I was not expecting that type of voice. Wow, okay, so first, first, I think this is a chorus. So he says, I already fought twice before you play me, so now I don't know. So now I don't know, don't play the victim. You know clearly what you did, we made mistakes, but this time I won't come back because you crossed the line. That's that first verse. Well, not first verse, but whatever you want to call that. Pre chorus, chorus, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, this has spun me out. This has caught me so off guard. I like it though. It's very different to what I've ever listened to, so I enjoy it. But here are the fir the first verse, and it was never enough for you to calm down in the swearing and to see that you didn't value the men who loved you and you left for money. Now you want to look for me, but I can't anymore because I'm everywhere. <laughs> I like it. Por feria, ahora quieres buscarme, pero yo ya no puedo porque ando por todas partes. Sorry, that's not right. That's not Sorry, I'm I'm reading the translation and that's not right. What he says there, it's technically because I'm everywhere, but it's because I'm like because I'm tra it's practically because I'm traveling everywhere, not because I'm everywhere. <laughs> Ando, yeah. Ando means like go. I go. It's yeah. It's I go everywhere. Not because I'm everywhere. It's like I go everywhere. You know. Ando todos los partes. That means go everywhere. This. I'm not gonna lie. This guy has a very nice voice. Wow! 
Wow, that was really nice. Sorry, sorry. I, I've been getting stuck and I've been getting lost in the music, especially today. I'm, I'm getting lost into the music and I love it. So here he said, and, 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 and AMG in my caravan with all the crew. I went to the private, I went to that private place. I wanted to get drunk and to not think about you. Um, you turned out to be there in the arms of someone else. I thought you loved me and again with your lies. Ooh. And that's why I went, oh, when he hit that high note, because that's when he said, like, you're lying. That, that line is so nice. I was gonna ask Mad Madre, what do you think so far? I always love hearing your opinion on this type of stuff. Sorry, I forgot to say what that verse meant. So what he said there is, and once, and once and for all, grab your things and get the fuck. <laughs> I prefer andate la verga. <laughs> I love, I love that phrase, andate la verga. <laughs> oh my god, I love Spanish so much. <laughs> Wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. They didn't say andate la verga. They say something else. Let me let me rephrase that. I forgot. Me, I know it's it's similar, but I know it's I know he isn't saying andate la verga. It's something else. I think he says velate la verga. Something like that. Ah, oh, okay, pelate a la verga. Yes, yeah, so, and it's it all right, it all means the same thing. And that de la verga, pelate a la verga, all of that means the exact it, it's the same it's the same phrase, but one's Mexican, one's uh, one South American, Latino American, like it's the same, it's the same phrase, but I I know with like Mex Mexicans especially, they have certain phrases that mean more. So I assume pelate la verga means more. Like it 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 means it in a more. The meaning is clear. Yeah, <laughs> the meaning is very clear. <laughs> I really like his voice. Um, but yeah, so what he says here is once once and for all, grab your things and get the fuck out. I don't want to see you again and live that life that you wanted so much. You're ungrateful, you broke my heart because of because I thought that you loved me and again with your life. Yeah. You know? I like it. I really like it. Yeah, so did I imagine. I thought this was what, what you're saying, but it's completely not. This is like pure Mex like traditional Mexican. I don't know what this genre is called. I I've heard the genre, but I don't remember what it's called specifically. Anyway, to any lo Mexicanos que saben, como se dice en este, este genre? 
Like, what is the name of this genre? I would love to know. Dude, how old is this guy, by the way? I wanted to say that. How old is he? Because he looks young, like really young. How old is he? Bro, he's only 19? Oh, no. That's crazy. Wow. Yo, shout out. Shout out to the youngins, bro. I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna lie, man. Shout out to the youngins. The youngins are killing it right now in music. The Jovencito are fucking killing it. <laughs> um, but yeah, what do I think about this? I like it. I really enjoy it. I like the song. I like the meaning of the song. Um, you know, there's a lot of reality behind this type of music. There's a lot of reality behind the way that he feels, you know? I like it. I, I find that very interesting. Um, I enjoy the genre, even though, like I said, I don't know the genre. I don't know what the name is specifically. <laughs> um, but I liked it. I like how it was just really... It's just very realistic, to be honest. And for, for example, for someone so young to be feeling this way about someone is crazy. That's why I was like, wait, how old is he? That's why I found it very interesting i was like i was like wait like i was like how old is he because this song's very very deep like if you think about it it's fucking deep so that's why i was like oh this is interesting like i said it caught me off guard because i'll be honest i thought this was reggaeton but this song ain't reggaeton this song's completely different but i like it like i said i don't know what this genre is called so if anyone can please inform me on what type of genre this is, I'd love to know because I've I've always wanted to listen to this type of music. But I really like do you know, do you know what's interesting? Like for a song that went trendy, the surprise made it even better. Yeah, exactly. My reaction was like, oh shit, I was not expecting that. And he's got such a good voice. Like he's got such a nice voice for like this type of like not this type of genre sorry but like for what i expected because i expected reggaeton so when i heard that I was like oh it took me back a bit i was like oh okay this is interesting but yeah man i'm keen i'm keen to check out la diabla so let's go to la diabla now i'm keen because la diabla sounds very very similar is this like a, a part two of la victima we'll find out it sounds like it's a part two of la victima but Let's, let's get it. <laughs> I love the sound of the guitar, the Mexican um, traditional guitar sound. Me encanta como fue. Yo puedo comerte como a ti te gusta. What a fo I'm sorry, like, I, I I know a lot of people that are new to the channel, they, they probably don't know, if y'all wanted to know, I pause a lot, I'm never scared of, I, I, I know what the, I get the first line. So the first line is, I can eat you how you like, that's straight to the point. If y'all don't understand what that means, unlucky. <laughs> If you if you don't understand what that means, you're too you're too young to be listening to this song. <laughs> That's a crazy line. If you let if you let yourself be loved, <laughs> I can eat you. Well, that's technically he said. I can eat you however you like. I'm pretty sure that's what he says. Hold on, let me hear this. Yeah, so pretty much that's bad translation. It was not bad translation. It's the same way. I can eat you how you like or however you like. But I feel like if you put the extra word, it makes more sense. 
But yeah, I can eat you however you like or how you like. If you, if you just let yourself be loved is crazy. That's such a crazy first line. <laughs> Yeah. The way you like it, it's Oh my god! What a cheeky fucking Latino! I love this! This is the most cheeky and typical like Latino sound I would ever hear. Oh my god, what a lyric! Sorry, this whole verse is crazy. <laughs> Oh my god. So after that he says I'll I'll come for you in the heat of the moment. Darling, I don't bite. I don't bite here. Don't be scared. There's no more time to waste. She only live once. No, Cheeky little Latino, baby. Spit out my coffee. <laughs> hey, bro. I'm a Latino. I can say that. He's a cheeky little Latino, bro. <laughs> bro, he's 19 and he's writing music like this. So he would have been 18 when he wrote this. He would have been. <laughs> he would have been 18 when he wrote this. Like, bro, what? They got this cheeky little kid bro singing this music. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. This chorus is incredible. I'm the bad influence and and you like that. You're a bad girl and it shows my love. <laughs> and that's it, that line. Oh my god, I love this. Oh my god. So that's Vegas La Diabla. Oh my god, I, I love this. I love this song. Oh my god, I love everything about this song. You know what I mean? Uh, bro, I'll be saying, okay, I'll be saying to all my homies, like, especially because I live in Australia, man. I know a lot of my homies that like try to get with like Latinas and stuff like that. And I'll be saying, bro. <laughs> Sorry, no offense to all the Latinas. I, I love you. I love you all. But oh, fucking hell, that line makes so much sense. You're a devil. Look at, look how you dance. Oh, bro. But that could be the all nationalities. But let's be honest. La Diabla, come on. From 1 to 10, you're a million. Mm. Dude, his voice is incredible. He actually has such a nice voice. Like, listening to his voice makes his song so, like, so much better. Dude, this is a tip. I'm sorry, this is a typical Latino song. Like, he brags about the money and then he tries to sweet talk her. Whatever. So, so what he does here, he goes, If you come with me, pure Christian, the offendi Balenciaga, for you and I got some dough, got some dough to, <clears throat> to spare. And then he sweet talks her. Whatever you want, my love, my pretty princess. I'll bring you down, I'll bring you down the moon for you. 
And if you allow it, you'll see that no one will give you what I'm going to give you. But this is, if I was to ever think of a Latino song, this is to me the pure definition. It's the cheekiness of him. It's the, he's cheeky. He's flirtatious. And then he's very lovable. It's a mixture of all three. <laughs> oh my God, I love this. This is incredible. Incredible. This is such a good song. I love the I love the guitar. That's the interlude you're a devil. <laughs> what a song! Oh my god. So back to the Dude, his voice is ridiculous. You know what's funny as well? Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like the fact that he's 19, like I'm like this is how I'm thinking about it. Like the way that he looks, he would have got hit on very young. That voice, that's why I believe him. That swag, even though he looks like his mom's gonna pick him up there any second. <laughs> it's the voice. It's the voice. It's the voice. It's the charisma. It's everything. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I bet like I bet even before the money, this this kid was getting hit on like crazy. I don't know. Like I look at him and I don't know how long he's been making music for, but I bet he turned, I bet he turned some heads. Like, bro, I'll be honest, man. Even when, like, even when I was younger, bro, I had, I had no right talking to the people that I was talking to at my age. Like when I was young, when I was like 19, 18, even 16, bro. Like some some people out some women I was talking to at the age of sixteen I should not have been talking to. I know that for sure. But this is incredible. I love it. I love this. This is like, I fucking love it. Bro, this song is perfect. This is my favorite song. I can see why this is such a big song. I love this guitar, man. Oh my god, fucking Scarface. That's sick. That was really good. Seriously, that was a really good song. I like both of those songs. I really enjoy both of those songs. Shout out to Shabby, man. He's doing his thing. Oh. Yeah, Javi. Shout out to him. Shout out to him. Because he is really making amazing music. And I really hope that he keeps on getting the success that he deserves. Because honestly, this music is really good. Yes, very fine songs. Yeah, but not only that, like I said, I like that it really gives like the demeanor of like where he's from, I guess. Because to me, this is a like this is a Latin Latino to the finest. Like, I'm sorry, like to me, this is seriously Lat Latino at its finest. Like, but I love it. I love that he has the the, the personality that he has. 
the charisma, like he has so much charisma, the personality, everything that, you know, people look for. I'm not gonna lie, like, that's hilarious. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't, I can't help but smile and laugh. Like, yo, this is amazing. But I don't know what to say. Like, it's very overwhelming listening to this music. Because I listen to this and I'm like, wow. Like, I don't know if he wrote these songs. If he did, fair play to him. But if he didn't, we're not unlucky. But Jesus Christ, bro. Like, this music is so cheeky. I li like, I just like, I really like how cheeky it is. I really like that. It's its own thing, you know, like, but it's amazing to see that he's really, it is written by him. Oh my God. Oh, wow. It, it, it's written by him. And wow, that's so cool. I love that. It's written by him and another person called Alex Hernandez. But that's so cool. That's so cool to see. Like that just make that just makes me even more happier because it just shows like there's so much I don't know how to explain it. There's just so much about him that is Latino at its finest. And that's all I have to say. Like there's certain words he used, the the way he acts in the music videos. Like it's just something that like I look at him and I'm like, wow, like. What, just wow and I just smile I'm just like what the fuck like yeah I, I can't even find words to explain how I, I want to explain this but I really enjoy it I enjoy both songs La Diabla y La Victima both songs are very good um I love the I love the sound of the Mexican guitar I know it's a normal guitar it, sh it is a normal guitar right yeah, I know it's a normal guitar, but I love the way los Mexicanos play it. I don't know what it is about that. The way that they play the guitar is one of the most interesting ways I've ever heard people play the guitar. It's just this funky mix with like country sound. That, oh, it's so beautiful to listen to. And like I said, his voice makes it. Like, the beat, the instrumental, all that, like, the instruments and all that is already here. Right? It's already creme de la creme. And then you add at his vocals and it rises it. It just rises it so high. And then obviously you add like his lyrics, his demeanor and all that, like him being cheeky and stuff like that. It just adds it to times a million. But yeah, shout out to Shabby. Shout out to Shabby. I really like this. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. So if you like this, give this a thumbs up. None of that. Comment if you want to see more. Subscribe and remember, keep living a crazy life and stay blessed. Peace. Laters. Ow. Yeah.